Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game we have Joseph Henry Blackburn with the white pieces and his opponent is Henry Gifford and this chess game is from 1874. A pretty beautiful chess game which will put a smile to your face. It is going to make you happy. So let's see what happened in this chess game which is a must-see chess game I believe. So. Joseph Henry Blackburn, who has the white pieces, starts the game with pushing the e-pawn e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and d4. And this is the scotch game, capturing the pawn, developing the bishop, and we have the scotch gambit, bishop to c5, knight to g5, attacking on f7, defending with the knight, and now adding the queen to the attack, so if blocking the queen, if something like g6, then capturing the knight with the queen. Queen to e7, defending. And now Blackburn is advancing, pushing the f-pawn, and both players castled d6. Hoping to activate the bishop, but now f5 by Joseph Henry Blackburn, closing the door. And Black pushed the pawn, and this is a discovered check. Bobby Fischer famously said, when a petzer sees check, he gives check. So in his notes, Joseph Henry Blackburn also didn't like this move. He said this check allowed white knight to be brought into the action. So after checking the king, moving the king, and d takes on c2 and knight to c3. Before checking the king, there was the pawn on d4, so developing the knight was not possible. So we have knight to e5, attacking the bishop, but Blackburn is attacking the queen. Defending the queen, and now pushing the pawn, not defending the bishop. We have retreating the knight, but let's take it back. What happens if capturing the bishop? Then knight to e7, this is check, only move. Besides capturing the knight with the queen, but then capturing the pawn, this is check. King takes on g7. And now, check. Also liberating the bishop. Bishop takes on e6, capturing the knight with check. King to h8 and checkmate. Black is getting checkmated. There is no sensible defense. So in this position, defending the queen and pushing the pawn by Blackburn. And this is why Black didn't capture the bishop, retreating the knight for the defense. But now Blackburn captured the pawn, attacking the rook. And the knight. So if defending the rook, capturing the knight, and king takes on g7, and it is white to move. Can you guess the next move of Joseph Henry Blackburn? What would you do in this position? Well, Joseph Henry Blackburn didn't even hesitate when he sacrificed his queen. This is what he did. What a move. Queen takes on h6 by Blackburn. And black has to accept the sacrifice, otherwise he is getting checkmated on h7. And now, blackburn played knight to e6. This is a discovered check to the king with the bishop. King to h5, checking the king. King to h4, forcing king to move to the south. And now, the exchange sacrifice. Rook to f4, checking the king. Knight takes on f4, but now blackburn pushed the pawn. And this is the only move. King to h3 and Blackburn captured the knight. Knight takes on f4. Checkmate. What an incredible epic checkmate. An incredible beautiful must-see king hunting by Joseph Henry Blackburn. This was a must-see chess game and I hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.